Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Atari's move. I'm the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And this video right here is going to be about looking at your mind like a virtual body. A.K.A. what we actually saying is your God or your goddess body. Whether you are a spirit that clean more to the masculine energy, your God body, or clean more to the feminine energy, your goddess body. But that goes beyond the concept that y'all be clinging on to that y'all call male and females. And that's a motherfucker whole other video, but like I said, when you bring these two things together, Together, your atoms and ease, your thoughts and feelings, your your uh, masculine and feminine energies together, it creates a motherfucking spaceship because or a light form that you could jump into to travel through purgatory. You know what I'm saying? Or the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimensional RAM, or the number 2 RAM, or the Morpheus RAM, or the Dream RAM, or the Mental RAM, or the Spiritual RAM, a.k.a. where the spirits flow through the mentalities, the light forms, the substance, the chakras, the will, whatever the fuck you want to call these motherfucking things. But this is what you actually do, and this is your actual, actual real men and women, and because this is how you see yourself. So you can make virtual emojis in some way, shape, or form. Because this is what we're technically doing. Creating that virtual reality in some way, shape, or form. So, these are two halves to one coin that you're supposed to be playing as an equilibrium, as a spirit. Being androgynous in this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Bringing those atoms and eaves together in this motherfucker. Your thoughts and your goddamn feelings. So, as I said, looking at your mind... As a virtual body, a.k.a. your God and Goddess body, this lets you know that you're supposed to make this be indestructible. When you're unconvincible down here, it makes you invincible up there spiritually. And I hate to say down and up because that's Jewish witchcraft. It's basically with closeness and more distant. That's a whole nother fucking video. And that goes all the way around. What goes around comes around. But that's a whole nother concept. But like I said, right? What, what is the actual concept we're supposed to be understanding? But getting into this motherfucking energy of looking at your mind as a motherfucking virtual body, a.k.a. your God body or your goddess body, this is supposed to be indestructible. You're supposed to make this mimic your spirit. And when we get lost in our lesser flesh, it's still flesh. It's just less and dense. So it's lighter in weight. So it's not L-I-G-H-T that became this. It's L-I-T-E, the thing that created the L-I-G-H-T. So before it becomes a water cycle and becomes dense and come down, I hate to use the word down, externalize, it becomes fumes or cloudy first, where you could cloud your own judgment about yourself being lost in your appearance of yourself that you envision of yourself. If you know what the fuck I mean in some way, shape, or form. So, like I said, when we get lost, when we drink too much of our own juice, our esoteric melanin juice, or watermelon juice, or however you want to motherfucking call it, because that's what it actually is, has nothing to do with shit down here in some way, shape, or form. These are just offsprings and less dense versions that's already that have already been light and bended in on itself and have died, and we are using, utilizing this dead flesh to just experience this realm of reality as a spirit. But, like I said, before we get too much on that end, when you're looking at your mind as a virtual body, right, you're supposed to make this mimic the spirit. But when you get lost in these things, lost in your mind, the way you think and see and feel about yourself in that sea, in those visions that you're swimming in, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, this is why someone can hurt your feelings. This is someone. This is why someone can make you think hard. And now you're thinking concentrating on things that you're not supposed to be concentrating on and then that develop into routine and pattern also you being in a holistic state or internal hell so for the most part here's the thing right this is when you are destructible here's where your spaceship is very weak you know what i'm saying and for the most part you're not allowed you're not supposed to allow yourself to be open or vulnerable when you're traveling through the esoteric realm because it's all kind of asteroids up there and it's all kind of other people who got warships that just can't wait to shoot down other ships because they stay in some type of warlike spirit so they got a battleship up there in the esoteric realm that they constantly float in and they can't wait to tear you down you see what i'm saying so you got to keep that in motherfucking mind but at the same time, in mind. And you got to fulfill your mind with a whole bunch of gadgets. So when it's time for you to go to war or be protected, your ass can, be, you, your ass can feel safe and your soft spots don't get hit. In some way, shape, or form, so you have to feel spiritually naked and move into another space out of the way of all the asteroids that you didn't get outweighed by 
based upon getting washed up under the current and the esoteric rainbow waters when you above the motherfucking canopy. That's another video. But like I said, right? Looking at your motherfucking mind as a motherfucking uh, virtual body. Because that's what it technically is. And you're not supposed to let nobody hurt that body. Hurt your mind. Hurt your feelings. Because that's supposed to be indestructible. And your spirit don't even know what that is. So sometimes your spirit get drunk and high. Because that was the first high. So if you have lost to think that, oh, drugs is just the actual physical form uh, that get re uh, that when light have bended in on itself. And we actually create land masses and shit like that in nature's. Or nature's the physical representation of the nature's. Which is when you see the shit on the land and, and, and trees and, and things that's growing and flowers and shit like that. But it comes from our internal nature. Nature in some way shape or form and the first high for a spirit is how a spirit created a mind and for the most part the first high for a spirit was an actual feeling the ability to feel what it have created because as a spirit you're just in your space and you create an image of how you see yourself so it becomes future fire potential then once you jump into that that dream could, or that fire could become water and it can become your temperament or something that you're actually swimming in. And that future fire potential can now become the past or the world that you are in in some way, shape, or form. And then once you're forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, it creates that steam, that air. You're able to logically understand what's actually going on. And then that awareness itself creates the presence, which is the present, which is the earth element. You being able to concentrate and practicalize and create a form or an image or a shape or a light or a will or a chakra off whatever that you have just did based upon fire, water, and air. You see what I'm saying? And then that's when you can slowly but shortly start to uh, bring things down into existences in some way but at the same time this is your mind and how you construct that is how you construct that and then when you allow other people to make it go in the directions that you don't even want it to go in then therefore you haven't made up your own mind the mind that you made you didn't make it upward Therefore, when you're traveling into circumstances and situation, you're not you don't have an arch. You're not rising above the current. You're being washed up er under the current because your mind is never made up in circumstances and situations that you're going through. The circumstance, the circle that you're swimming in and the situation, the people, places and things that you bring and to allow to sit in that motherfucking nation. That you're swimming in as far as your vibrations in some way, shape, or form. That you keep creating many frequencies in. Second comings. Offsprings lights that haven't been in on themselves yet to experience the feminine nature. Or when the lights is out. So keep that in mind also. So when you don't make up your mind. And you go through circumstances where your mind is indecisive. Or uh, you needed some type of um, example there. And then you can make up your mind based upon the example. When none of that is there in some way, shape, or form, then you're always going to be washed up under the current. And being washed up under the current in the third dimension is feeling outweighed by the circumstance and situation that you're in. Feeling like you're in chaos a little bit or feeling out of out of control or unfamiliar circumstances and situations or situations that make you a little uncomfortable therefore that means you don't got no spaceship no familiarity no thing to make you feel safe within that scenario and you're just learning as you go and if you're in a whole bunch of negative situations that represent you having to learn as you go but it's always negative situations that you're manifesting that's kind of let you that's let you know off the back oh shit that's letting you know off the motherfucking back that it's putting you into a situation that your mind wasn't made up and it didn't have that up energy in it in some way, shape, or form. So you're not able to rise above a circumstance or situation based upon you at the root cause, you not going into circumstances and situations with your mind made up. So you're going in based upon someone else's mind and based upon how they're floating in some way, shape, or form, you're going to get led down the same motherfucking road, a.k.a. the blind leading the motherfucking blind in some way. So be careful of that also. And like I said, just even going back, the mind is your motherfucking virtual body. So motherfucker, make sure you treat your virtual body as well as you treating your motherfucking physical body. Be careful what you motherfucking eating. That'd be food for thought. Because what you spiritually eat, you eat other you eat what other spirits kick out. 
or you eat with spirits that was here before you have left in the footprints in the sand and shit like that. AKA the thoughts and the feelings that have the lights, the thoughts and the feeling lights that have bended in on itself and now it's still it's part of the nature in some way, shape, or form, or it's floating around as an influence that you can pick up in some way. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be careful of that also. So when you're going around, right, and looking at your mind as a virtual body, that's what it is. And you have to make sure that you're not letting this motherfucker treat it like your motherfucker, uh, Food for thought, you know, treat it like this fucking body. Be careful what you fucking eat. Don't be eating, a.k.a. paying attention to too much bullshit because you always going to have to digest. And when you digest too much shit in your mind, right, it starts to make you feel a heavy way, a.k.a. to react and respond to whatever that you have ate. And if you start reacting and responding into negative things, paying attention to a lot of negative things externally in the third dimensional world. And I let you know that you have digested a whole bunch of bullshit that's going to lead you into externalizing your body a lot to make you have to eat in some way, shape or form. Whether you're fighting a lot, um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about just physical fighting, you know what I'm saying? Mentally sparring with individuals because you're internally frustrated with your life or in some way, shape or form. Or always being in emotional turmoil or or physically fighting. A.K.A. someone always got to talk you out of something because you, your ass always uh, motherfucking uh, two steps away from needing a motherfucking straight jacket. You know what I'm saying? But however it motherfucking go, your mind is your motherfucking virtual body, a.k.a. your God body and your goddess body. So, you know, reason why I said virtual, because, you know, some spirits, your spirit is androgynous. Certain spirits like to cling going more to the masculine side of things. That would be the God body. Certain spirits like to cling more to the feminine side of things. That would be the goddess body. But these are just both sides of nature. You as a spirit being more emotional, right brain, or you being more logical left brain but at the same time your spirit is androgynous because you know that when you sit back and separate yourself you always have the ability to choose now as a spirit you might be one you might be familiar with one energy more than the other and this is one of the things you have to deal with and you are experiencing learning in this life right now so you can learn in this lesson school you know what i'm saying to learn more equilibrium and these are the circumstances that you are creating for yourself based upon the family the uh, circumstance, the the, the uh, surroundings that you grew up around, and uh, the, the location and all the people in it. All y'all shared experiences together in some way, shape, or form. But for the most part, here's the thing, right? When you know that uh, you, this is a virtual motherfucking body in some way, shape, or form. Uh, like I said, in some way, shape, or form. Hee <laughs> real shit. You can't even get no more... Uh, can't even use no more better words than that for real. Y'all probably bypass those words all the motherfucking time. But those, it ain't no better description than motherfucking that. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in motherfucking mind. Eee, eee, another one of those motherfucking terms and shit like that. But uh, yeah, you want to make sure this is sufficient. You want to make sure you polish this up. You want to make sure this is strong. You know what I'm saying? Um, you don't make. You want to make sure that you're not digesting too much motherfucking bullshit to the point and make you exhaust yourself down here in some kind of way that you don't necessarily need to. Uh, And make sure that you're constructing your own mind. Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure.